Hi everyone. I'm Jeff. Damn it, Jeff. <laughs> That's Don. Damn it, Don. And we want to welcome you to DGG Presents. We're your two favorite damn good games creators and game masters. And in this podcast series, we're going to go over damn good games content, creations, and some tabletop RPG tips and tricks to improve the whole gaming experience. So sit back, grab a drink, and enjoy. Yar. Welcome to DGG Presents Episode Zero. Named Episode Zero because we've already recorded a few episodes, and this should have been recorded beforehand, but we're doing it after the fact. Yeah, so just, this is not the first one. Yeah, just like a noob GM who just realized they got to roll a session zero, but they're on session three. It happens. That's what happened. Yeah. I mean, right. real talk, you can run a session zero whenever you really think you need a session zero because expectations change as a game changes. Anyways, who Anyways. are you? Who are we? So this uh, installment of DGG Presents is answering that very question. Don... Who are you? Uh, that's a really good question. I'm a nerdy DM who's in his late thirties, but real talk, I that's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> Existential crises aside, <laughs> the main goal here is just to kind of give all of you an introduction to Don and yeah, myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just to kind of let you know what damn good games is about and what we're trying to do and what's going on. Yeah. So, Damn Good Games, there's a play on the initials in there for yep. DGG, if you can figure it out. Two yep. thumbs up, because you can't see I'm doing two thumbs up, so I have to tell you, two thumbs up. Can't even make a like sound. I mean, we could, <laughs> but it'd be cheesy, so we won't. We're not that, che- well, we're probably that cheesy, but not right now. Anyways, not we that. have uh, been friends for probably over 25 years. Yep. We met in middle school over Magic the Gathering. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Don was already involved and played. I had never seen it before. I just walked into the cafeteria at breakfast or lunch, I don't even remember, and saw the, him and another friend of ours playing Magic, and I'm like, what's that? And, you know, instant bond created, and then yep. we but, started with tabletop RPGs not too long after. Yep, and a lot of talk over old school Square Enix games. That too, yes. The old school Square, you know, yep. early Secret Final of Mana, Fantasies, Chrono Trigger, all of those. Breath of Fire, which yep. I kind of wish would come back with a caveat because they could ruin it, but yeah. those were some good games. I really hope that Square Enix does like a Chrono Trigger, but like with the graphics that Persona 5 did, that was a cool cell shaded anime setup. It would be really cool, but you know, pipe dreams. Pipe dreams. You never know. They did do the Final Fantasy 7 remake, and how long was I calling that one out for? Yeah, yeah, we've been hoping. I've been calling that one out for 15 years. I just hope they don't give up on it like they did 15. Yeah, I hope not. Um, anyways, back on target again. <laughs> back to rolling dice instead. Back to rolling dice. So we've both been playing tabletop RPGs for probably combined about f- over 50 years. Yep, that's um, a solid number. Don's got a little more experience in other varying... Uh, settings and systems and I've yeah, got my, the majority I'm, of mine is d and I've also got a little old school White Wolf and Shadowrun yep yeah no, I, I'm kind of a system addict I like seeing how systems work so I have a pile of different systems books that I read <laughs> right now I'm going through this fate system yet again because it's really cool I do suggest reading through it you and a group of friends could like start a game and run it in like 10 minutes it's not hard so while there will be a wide array of 5e oh yeah relatable material um a lot of what we talk about as far as like yeah, dming it, gming tips and all that can apply to multiple systems not just dungeons and dragons yeah. itself we try to be as rules agnostic as we can there's some things we can't like we're going to be talking periodically throughout the podcast about our west marches game that we're planning on setting up and running for patreons and it'll be a good one. It'll be fun. It's a totally different style of D&D. If you've played D&D before, then, then you'd be used to. It's, it's very mission-based. It's very cool. And it's totally player-driven. So that kind of leads us into another point here is, what does it benefit you to be a member of our Patreon? Well, the top-tier Patreon members, as Don was just talking about, will have access to play in our West Marches campaign. Yep. We will also have uh, videos on DM tips and tricks uh, things for the Marches campaign, 
and other kinds of random things. Early access content to play because we're creating our own content for 5e and probably some other system agnostic stuff moving forward. Um, but you'll have a chance to be in part of the creation and editing process, especially higher up in the Patreon levels. Uh, other things we're going to offer is commissions. Oh, so yeah. Let's say you need a BBG for your campaign, no matter the system, yep. or you want a, a, a map or a trap or, you know, you, something you need for your campaign. You just can't figure out on your own or you just don't have time because, you know, we're adults. We lead busy lives. Yep, absolutely. Sometimes just everyone needs a little help sometimes. You can send us commissions and we can help work with you and create something. Yeah, I've helped quite a few people develop rules-balanced classes because a lot of people like to work on classes, but if you've done a Google search and actually looked at a lot of them, they're really non, not super balanced, at least starting out. So, Broken! Yeah, yeah, I've seen a lot of those. The big one, and I know a lot of people will probably talk to us about commissions with this, is summoning. And I've seen lots of different mechanics on how summoners can work in 5e and other systems. And this podcast, this specific episode, isn't long enough for that. But we can go through why pets are so crazy powerful in 5e. And how to kind of circumvent some of that in our DM tips. And the other thing is our main goal here is, you know, we're just two longtime friends and we've got something we love, tabletop RPGs. And we just kind of want to bring that, our excitement, our love, our knowledge yeah, to I mean, everyone. This is, this is a common thing nowadays, honestly, and it's yeah. just out there. And so we were figuring, you know, why not? We have a lot of good ideas. We have people tell us a lot of times, like, you know, yeah, that's a great idea. You know, you run a great game, mm -hmm. you know, like... Absolutely. Well, that's, a, that's a great well, class you created. I mean, we, we love this whole genre of tabletop RPGs. We really do. And if we can do anything to add more depth and more quality to that, that's what we're shooting for. We want to share the wonder we have. I mean, if you remember playing pretend as a kid, I mean, really, that's what tabletop RPGs are, but with rule sets to try to keep things a little more balanced. That way you don't have people screaming at each other, usually, that they shot you and no, you didn't. I mean, it still <laughs> happens, but with rules, it's a little bit easier to arbitrate. <laughs> Just flashbacks to the kid, I got you, no, yeah, you didn't, yes, exactly. I did. Exactly, that's why the rules are there. <laughs> because sometimes arguments break out, but it's easy enough to resolve. And, you know, with the years of experience that we've had, you know, we've experienced and we've seen, we've seen things and worked through things that maybe newer D, newer DMs or GMs or newer players haven't had the opportunity, but maybe they have questions about. Yeah. Or and so we're hoping that knowledge we have can be shared to all of mm -hmm. you. And as a Patreon subscriber, you're going to get early access. You're going to get discounts when mm -hmm. we do Kickstarters or release materials that we sell. Yep. And you're going to have access to our Discord channel which will have all the members of the community. Yep. If you're up there for the March, the West Marches campaign, there's going to be special Discord channels for that. Yeah, and there's going to be tons of um, moments to communicate and just work through, I mean, this really great hobby that we all love because really what you're doing is you're collaboratively telling stories together. And we just want to help you do that the best way we know how. And we also like to experience that feeling of community. I mean, especially now that the pandemic's been around, it's been a lot more challenging to get people around the table. So doing online games is kind of going to be the thing of the future. I mean, and as you become one of us people in our mid-30s, where all your friends have families and homes and lives that are across the country, sometimes things like Roll20 are what you're going to have to use. So, I mean, we'll do our best to show you what we've done and what works and the struggles we've been through because new DMs are going to run into those struggles. I mean, I've seen it time and time again, and we'll show you what we've done that seems to work. Of course, we're not perfect, and we're always open to great feedback. Uh, critique us. Tell us we're wrong. We love good discussions. We're not afraid to actually have a reasonable discussion about anything, really. I mean... There, there's a difference between telling someone they're wrong and saying, you know, discussing a difference of opinion. Yeah. We're okay if you tell us we're wrong. Just tell us why. Yeah, yeah. Back it up. Don't be a dick about it. Like, I have no problem being told I'm wrong. If someone's yeah. like, oh, you were wrong on this count because this says this here. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, that's a good yeah. point. Maybe I didn't do that because of yeah. this. 
We are not egotistical enough to believe that we've mastered any rule set. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. (laughs) We're just two people who want to be creative and share what we love with others and hopefully maybe improve your game at the table or online. I mean, that's really what we're about. You know, and if you you have your own dreams doing something like this or you are doing something like this, we're up for collaborations with other other people that want to go through this, too. You know, we're just, we're wanting to share what we love and what we know and, you know, hopefully make this something that we can do into our later years Uh, that, you know, we have time and effort and energy for. Real talk, this creative content is about a hobby first. The Patreon thing is just trying to recover some of the initial investment we've dumped into this. I mean, it's to help us keep moving. And I'm sure as we grow later on, we'll be looking for, you know, some help, some moderators and different things like that. Yeah. So, you know, if you're interested in being on board at some point, reach out to us. Yeah, and absolutely. Once, once we're looking for more people, we'll be letting you know. And, you know, moderators on Discord, I know, are a big thing that help out a lot. People that can pay attention because there's no way the two of us are going to be able to yeah. monitor Discord 24-7. Yeah, I it's can't. It's supposed to be, yeah. <laughs> I like, can't helicopter Don ha- parent Yeah, Don has kids. I don't have kids, but Don has kids. Yeah, so, I've, you know, I, I got a couple of teens that are getting into the tabletop <laughs> game, so I've been splitting my attention as it is. So helicopter parenting a Discord channel is just beyond my capability. Yeah, so, you know, like, just the whole thing of being Discord, don't be a dick. Yeah. That's really what it boils down to. Yeah. Be considerate, be inclusive. People have different ways with any kind of tabletop game that they yeah. want to have fun. They have a different style of game and they want to play, and they're not wrong for that style. No. And one thing you always have to remember is when there are at two or more people in any one specific hobby, there's going to be disagreement because nobody sees things the same way as anyone else. That's a difference in perspective. And that's something we just got to respect. So if you run into conflict, let's just have reasonable discussions. And if you feel like things are getting out of hand, take a moment, take a breath, and contact one of us, and we'll try to mitigate so I think we've roundabout gone over kind of what we're going here as we go through this. But you know, we're, we're excited to get this going. This has kind of been a dream of ours to do a some sort of gaming company as we go in and damn good games. We're hoping we can fulfill that name. Oh, yeah. We have forward plans. And with content that we have. So we're excited to get this going. Drop us a line, like, subscribe, wherever you're hearing these at. Follow yep. us. And if it's you, free, and it just helps us out a lot. And, I mean, if you can help someone else go after their dream, why not? If it yep. doesn't cost you anything especially, right? Yeah. And if you have any questions about anything, anything to do with our content or Patreon or any of that, reach out to us, or we are more than happy to discuss any of this with any of you. All right. Well, until next time, damn it, Don. Damn it, Jeff. We'll see you later. Yep. Later. Later.